Hi guys, welcome to this video of red black trees where we will learn deletion in red black trees. Until now we have learned introduction of red black trees, properties of red, red black trees and we have compared red black trees with AVL trees. Then we have also uh, proved that how, we how a red black tree should always be a balanced binary search tree. Then we did insertion in red black trees. Before that we also learned the types of imbalances in red black trees and finally now we are going to learn the last topic of red black trees that is deletion in red black trees. So if you are seeing a lot of stuff over here, I suggest you that you don't just look over here, just focus on this side and uh, later on we will come over here. So and it is my job to explain the most complex things in the most simplest form. So after this video, you will never forget how to do deletion in red black trees. So if you have watched the previous video, that is the insertion video, you must have seen that we actually used to encounter a lot of imbalances when we used to insert elements in red black trees, right? So there were many imbalances that we encountered, different types of imbalances. So what was the reason that we were actually countering those imbalances? So why we were countering those imbalances? Because there is one property of red black trees which says that no consecutive red nodes are allowed, right? Like if the parent is actually red, both its children should be black. But when we were inserting new nodes, this property was actually being violated, right? So we actually used to counter that imbalance that was created due to the violation of this property by doing different operations like recoloring and rotation, right? So in this case, of deletion in red black trees when we will be learning deleting elements from red black trees this property is not our focus our focus is another property that is going to get violated when we will delete elements from red black trees and what will be that property that property will be for any node if you have seen the first video of red black trees that I have made in that I have explained this property for any node the black height across all paths is equal, okay? So this property will get violated. So the, uh, basically this property says that for any particular node, the number of black nodes that you encounter from that node until all the leaf external nodes across all the paths remains equal, right? So this property will basically get violated when we are trying to delete black nodes. Just think about it, how this property can get violated. If not, I'm going to explain it right now. So our focus will be this property, right? How, how do we actually stop the violation of this property? So that we will learn with the help of different cases so here also we will perform rotations and recoloring wherever required so that we uh, this property doesn't get violated, right? So now before we move further, let us actually recall how do we do deletion in a normal binary search tree, not necessarily a red black tree, okay? So if suppose this is a normal binary search tree, so is it a normal binary search tree? So this is 60 and all the elements in the right subtree of 60 should be greater than 60, yes. All the elements in the right subtree of 70 should be greater than 70, yes. Less than 70 on the left subtree, yes. Less than 60 on the left subtree of 60, yes. Okay, yes, fine. Okay, so basically this is a binary search tree, right? So if we want to delete, suppose an element, a leaf node. Suppose we want to delete, let us take 90 from this binary search tree. So how we will delete? we can simply delete 90, no problem at all, because it is a leaf node, right? Okay, so let me put it back, okay? So now, rather than 90, we actually want to delete, suppose 20. So how will we delete 20? So to delete 20, what will happen is that uh, 20 is actually a node that has only one child. So this particular child, will take the place of 20 or it will replace 20, okay? 
this child will replace 20. So basically there are two nodes with the data 25, but we will actually delete again the leaf node because the binary search tree says that in deletion, you should always delete the leaf node. So if you notice it properly, we have actually deleted 20 itself, what we wanted to delete. We just replace the node that has to be deleted with its uh, only child and we deleted the leaf node or the original position of this child, right? Okay, so now we deleted a single child node and a leaf node, right? So what about a node that has two children? What if I want to delete, suppose 60 itself? So how will I delete 60? So if you have learned deletion in binary search tree, you will know that 60 has to be replaced either by its in order predecessor, that is 40 in this case, or the greatest element in the left subtree, or by its in order successor, or the smallest element in the right subtree, that is 65 in this case, right? So it can be replaced by either of these two. Let us replace, replace it with uh, the in order successor, that is 65. So we write 65 over here in place of 60. So we write 65 over here in place of 60 and we delete this in order successor. So this is what we do when we are actually doing deletion of elements in normal binary search tree, right? So uh, a good news for you is that we are actually going to follow the same thing. So this is what we are going to follow in step one. So every time when we want to delete an element, we will delete it like how we used to do in a binary search tree, right? So our step one will remain same, okay? So where will the difference be created? Now I'm going to explain it. Suppose, in this red black tree, so this is a red black tree, uh, because if you see the black height from this node, uh, on this path it is 2, because we will we also count the external nil nodes or the leaf nil nodes, so we don't count the actual nodes, we, I'm considering with reference to the root, the black height is 2 on this path, it is 2 on this path, 1 plus 1, it will be 2 on this path, because here also there will be the leaf nil nodes, 2 on this path as well, and two on this path as well, these two paths, this path as well, and two on this path as well, right? So right now, it is basically a red black tree. It follows all the properties of red black trees. There are no consecutive red nodes as well. So now, the root is also black. So it proper, uh, follows all the properties of red black trees. Fine. So now, if in this red black tree, we want to delete 36, so if I want to delete 36, first of all, I search for 36. 36 is greater than 10, so on the right side. 36 is greater than 30, on the right side. 36 is less than 40, so on the left side. So I got 36, now I can delete it. And as in binary search tree, we can delete leaf nodes, as I told earlier. So we can easily delete uh, this. And one case also tells, and let us look at, now we are talking about case two, right? Uh, out of these six cases, we, we can perform any one case according to the situation. So which case does this fall into? So if the node to be deleted is red, just delete it and exit. So basically, if I want to delete 36, I can simply delete it. There will be no change in that property that the black height changes because I'm not deleting a black node, I'm actually deleting a red node. So obviously there will be no change in that property which says that the black height for a particular node shall not change on any of the paths. It will remain same on all the paths because I have deleted a red node, not a black node, right? So now, that is what is said in case one, that if the node to be deleted is red, just delete it and exit. That means you have done your job. So you de I deleted 36, fine. Now suppose I want to delete another element, for example, 30. Right, if I want to delete this 30. So let me search for 30 first. Uh, 30 is greater than 10, so it will come on the right side. Okay, I found 30, right? But I cannot delete 30. Why? Because this is a binary search tree as well. And in binary search tree, I cannot delete an internal node. So let me replace this with its in order successor. So what is the in order successor of 30? It's 36. Am I right? So this is the in order successor of 30. So I'll replace 30 
with 36. And now what I have to delete is that rather than this internal node, I have to delete the in-order successor itself. That is what we are doing in the binary search tree. So same thing. And I can delete the in-order successor because it is red, right? If it would have been black, that would be a different case. But here, if the node that is to be deleted is red, just delete it and exit. So I delete this node and my 30 is gone. So until now, we have just seen the case one through this example. So now let us look at this example. So now in this binary search tree, this is another binary search tree where we have to delete 15. Okay. So we have to delete 15. So can we delete 15 as it is? Okay. If we delete 15, what do you think will happen? So if we delete 15, so if suppose my this 15 is not over here, the black height, suppose if we uh, check from uh, the root, what, what will be the black height for this path? It will be 1 plus 1, 2. And what will be the black height for this path where I have deleted 15? It will be only 1. Only this external node will be counted. So the black height actually changes as we saw earlier. So what we have to do in this case is, uh, so we can't delete the black node as it is. So in this case, what I do is that, this is my in-order successor of 15 and this is the in-order predecessor, right? Both are external nodes if we look at, look at it that way. So this external node will actually get, uh, replace 15. So 15 will not be deleted, but it is a black node and there is another black child of 15 that is an external node that is actually replacing 15. So this leads to the process of a double black node. So basically, this external node gets uh, this two black. So there are two blacks, the external nil node or the leaf nil, uh, the leaf nil node and that node itself that has to be deleted. So these two blacks get added up and this leads to the formation of a double black node. So the node that that 15 that I have represented in this way, that is basically called as a double black node. Okay. And this double black node is something really unnecessary, something that we don't want while we are doing deletion. So we want to get rid of it. So you can consider it you, uh, as debt. So what is debt? So debt basically in financial terms, it means that when we borrow money from someone, uh, we, uh, that money is actually known as the debt. So we want to somehow get rid of that amount, right? So uh, this double black node can also be represented as DB. Like everywhere you will see I've written DB, the DB, right? So that double black node we will call from now on as DB and we can also call it as debt, right? If this debt is over here, so what will happen? Uh, this child has a debt in it and now we can represent uh, this 15 instead of 15. Uh, basically the leaf nil node has replaced this node that has to be deleted. So we can write here N, N represents nil node, correct? So this is our double black node. So now basically this is the parent of the node that has to be deleted or the double black node. And basically we can consider the red node as angry, right? As an angry person. And the black node as a cool person, okay? So this is an angry person and this is a cool person, fine? And uh, double black node is our debt. So what happened is that this double black node, in order to repay its debt, it asked its parent for the money. Pay, uh, like, father, can you just borrow me some money? So this parent, instead of himself giving the money to the child, he approached the sibling of this child or his other child and he asked the, that child for the money. Now this child is basically cool. He has the money. So he gave some money to the parent, right? But in this process, what happened? In this process, the angry parent actually turned cool while the child that had to borrow, while the child that had to give away his own money turned angry, right? Makes sense, right? Someone has to give his own money in order to help his sibling even when he didn't want to suppose, let us suppose in that, that process made this person angry. But this finally, the money that uh, the parent received from the other child, 
he transferred transferred that money to the double black node or the first child and that actually led to the repayment of debt so now this person is relieved of the debt that he had taken so now there is no double black node it has changed to a single black node or an external node right very simple so this is what i have explained the case 3 over here what we did was the uh, double black node sibling is black in this case why we did that because the double black nodes basically sibling was earlier black we changed it to red right and both its nephew are also black so here we had our double black node and both its nephew were also black right so that is why in that case what we need to do we actually need to remove the double black node so i basically removed this double black node i changed it to a single black node and then we have to make the sibling red so the sibling of this double black node has i have made it red okay and what is the third thing that we need to do we have to add black to the parent so if the parent is actually red we have to make it black so until now we have learned until here right so in this case what happened the uh, how the repayment of debt was actually completed this double black node asked his parent for the money but this parent uh, in return asked his other child for the money and that child who was initially very cool after giving the money to the parent turned angry and the parent turned cool right so we added one black to the parent and then finally this debt was repaid and this is basically a single black node we don't no more have a double black node so this was case 3 and this is the first pass, part of case 3 where the parent is actually it was originally red right earlier the parent was red 20 was red it we actually turned it to black so now let us look at another example this is a different example again a red black tree and in this again we need to delete 15 okay so in this case what happens is that so basically this 15 might be having its own external nodes and one of the external node will replace this 15 and this will lead to the formation of a double black node or a debt right but what is different in this case from the earlier case that uh, my that the parent of this double black node is actually black originally it is black and this is basically this 30 is the sibling of the double black node and you can call these as the nephews right these are the two nephews of my double black node right the uh, you can like suppose like this double black node is the this double black node is the uncle of these two external nodes you can consider it that way or the other way around that the parents that the siblings children are basically the nephews of the double black node right so now in this case what will happen in this case again the same thing will take place this double black node will basically first ask money from the parent but the parent expects the sibling of the double black node to help him so he will ask money from the sibling of the double black node right so that will actually make the sibling angry so that so we the sibling will turn from black to red whereas this uh, parent will uh, initially he is actually cool black represents cool so initially the parent is cool of the double black node but now he will turn cooler right so he was actually cool now he is much happier he is much cooler so this single black node will actually turn to a double black node and this money will finally be transferred to the double black node which actually has now repaid its debt and is no more a double black node but has turned to a single black node am i right so what this finally led to this led to the formation of another double black node so this is kind of another debt now this also needs to be repaid now this is something unnecessary so what we will do in this case so first of all what is this case that i explained over here in this case yes the double black node sibling was initially black this was actually black and both its nephew were also black yes both its nephew are black so we removed the double black node from here we made the sibling red and we added a black to the parent so uh, our parent was originally also it, uh, the parent was black so we made the parent double black and now we have to apply another case why the reason being that we have got a double black node so we need to remove this double black node so now let us look at this case 
So when we look at this case, now this is basically our focus node or the double black node. So we need to first of all look at the sibling. Is the sibling of the double black node that is 5, is it black? Yes, it is black so it follows this uh, case. And both its nephews are also black. Both the nephews of 20, 1 and 7, are they black? Yes, they are black. So again the case 3 is valid. So what we do in this case? So we basically remove the double black node. Okay, fine. Let us remove the double black node. After removing the double black node, according to 3.2, we make the sibling red. So this, this is the sibling of the, the double black node that was 20. So we make it red. So what is this? This is basically the propagation of double black node to a higher level, right? So earlier the double black node was over here, but because of helping this person, now the parent is in trouble. He himself turned into a double black node, right? So now, after doing this, what will happen? Add black to parent. So uh, the parent is originally black, the 10 is originally black, right? When we uh, add parent black to parent, that will make the parent a double black node, according to the else part of 3.3. .3. So this will make the parent a double black node, right? So if this makes the parent a double black node, now again there is a problem, again there is a debt at the higher level, but the problem is with this person, there is no one elder than him to help him. All are smaller people, right? So all are younger people. So uh, basically you, when you ask for money, do you ask this uh, people younger to you or elder to you? So he has no one to help him, right? So, but there is another case which says that if your double black node, if db is root, remove db. So if in case where the double black node is the root itself, we can remove the double black node and we can make it single black node. Right. So this was case 2. We actually in this example, we looked at case 2 and we looked at case 3, especially the else part of case 3. Now we are left with three more cases, right? So that I'll explain with a new example. So this is another example of a red black tree. And here I need to delete suppose 15 itself, right? I need to delete this element 15, okay? And what will happen over here? Basically, this 15 is going to have its external nodes. And one of the external nodes, suppose this time, let's take this external node. It will get, it will replace 15 over here and this will lead to the formation of a double black node, right? Now this is something that we need to delete from our red black tree, okay? So now let us look at the cases. What about case two? If double black is root, remove double black. Is my double black node a root? No, it is not, so I cannot uh, use case two over here. What about case three? If double black node's sibling is black, is the sibling black? No, the sibling is red. So what do I do in this case? This basically implies that this double black node has taken a debt and in this case, there is this angry sibling, right? We have got this angry sibling. So this is the difference between the first, uh, between the earlier case and this case. Uh, in the earlier cases, this sibling of the double black node was actually black, right? But in this case, the sibling of the double black node is red. It is already angry. So what we do in this case is that we actually swap the colors of the parent of the double black node and the sibling of the double black node, right? So let us swap the colors. So this parent changes from black to red when he watches it, when he watch, uh, this happens when he watches his child already being angry while when the child watches his angry parent, he turns cool, right? Or he turns calm, the sibling of double black node. So this is what happens. Apart from that, what happens is that this parent of double black node actually rotates in the direction of the double black node. Because obviously this is a child which is in trouble. So the parent will rotate in a direction or he will move towards the child. He will try to help the child. So this parent basically turns, rotates in this direction, towards the direction of the double black node, right? So what, uh, so what will happen finally? This tree will be changed. So when this rotation happens, as you can see that the uh, sibling of the double black node takes the uh, place of the parent of the double black node and this entire thing gets rotated. 
So in that process, this nephew of double black node, the left nephew of or the near nephew of the double black node, the one that is near to the double black node actually comes on the right of the parent. So this is basically trying to follow the binary search tree property itself when I'm bringing this 25 on the right of 20. Okay, so now what you can notice over here? Oh, this debt has still not been repaid. There is again a double black node that is existing. So this a uh, double black nodes problem is still not solved. So which case did we apply over here? We applied case four that the double black node sibling was initially it was red, right? It was this 30 was initially red. So what we did, we swapped the colors of the double black nodes parent and the double black node sibling. So the uh, red color went over here and the black color came over here. So if both were red, there would be no change, right? So we are actually swapping the colors. Then we rotated the parent of the double black node in the direction of the double black node, right? This rotation happened, this rotation took place and this uh, parent came down over here on the uh, left side. And now what we need to do, the job is still not over. Now we need to reapply a suitable case. Why? Because the double black node still exists, right? There is still a double black node. So now which case can we apply over here? In this case, as you can see that the sibling of double black node, this is the sibling of the double black node. This is black, am I right? And what, uh, so if this is black, and what about the nephews of the double black node? They are basically external nodes and you know external nodes are always black. So basically both the nephews are also black. The sibling is also black. So we are actually talking about case three. Am I right? So what will happen in case three? In case three, the first step what we do is we remove the double black node. Let us remove the double black node. Fine. Then we make sibling red. So the sibling is actually black in this case. We turn it to red. So this 25 turns to red. And we actually add black to the parent of the double black node, which is 20. So initially if it was red, we make the parent black. It doesn't turn into a double black node because initially it is red. So this becomes black, right? And our double black node is vanished because we removed it in this case, right? Because this case was actually applying over here. So we could remove the double black node in this case. Fine. So these, so now we have learned these four cases, right? We have learned all these four cases. Now let us look at this red black tree. And in this red black tree, suppose we want to delete the element one. Suppose we want to delete this element, right? So what happens? First of all, we search for one, uh, one is less than 10. So on the left side, one is less than five. So on the left side, okay, we uh, found one. And now this one, obviously because it is a leaf node, it might be having its external nodes. So what will happen? This according to BST, this external node will replace or this child of the node to be deleted will replace one. And this will lead to the formation of a double black node. Am I right? So this will happen. So now if we look at this case, what case this is? The sibling is basically black and both the nephews are also black because where are the nephews? The nephews are over here. Seven is the sibling of the double black node and the nephews are the external nodes. So the sibling is also black. The nephews are also black. So which case are we talking about over here? We are talking about a case where the double black node sibling is also black. Okay, sibling is black and both its nephews are also black. So we are talking about case three. So this year we can apply case three. And what does case three say? Case three says that make the sibling red. Okay. So we make the sibling red. And it also says that add black to your, add black. And it also says that add black to the parent of the double black node. The parent of the double black node is five. So when we add to a node that was originally black, it turns into double black, right? So five turns into double black. And another thing what we need to do is we have to remove this double black node according to 3.1, right? Okay, so this is what we get. So this has actually turned to a red, okay. So again, the double black node has transferred upwards. 
So we need to remove this double black node, right? One is removed, but there is a new double black node. We need to remove this. So in this case, what are the things that we notice? First of all, what is the sibling of this double black node 5? The sibling is 30, right? So this is the sibling. And what are the nephews? The nephews are 25 and 40, right? So uh, the sibling, is it black of the double black node? Yes, the sibling is black if double black node sibling is black. And both its nephews should be black. No, both its nephews are not black. One is red and another one is black. So does it, uh, does any other case hold over here? Double black node sibling is red. No, this case also doesn't apply because double black node sibling is actually black. So which case? If double black node sibling is black and the far nephew is black, what do we mean by the far nephew? The nephew that is actually far away from this double black node, right? So which is the far, far nephew from this double black node? There are two nephews, 25 and 40. The far nephew is 40, right? So if that is black and near nephew is red, and near nephew is red. This is the near nephew. Uh, as come, uh, the this is the near nephew from the double black node five, right? Twenty five is the near nephew. So this is the case we are talking about, case five. So what we need to do in case five? So double black node. So we actually need to swap the color of the double black node sibling that is thirty and the double black node's near nephew that is the red node that is twenty five. So we need to swap the colors. Okay. So let us swap the colors. So when we swap the colors, this 25 turns to black and, it, and the sibling of the double black node turns red. Okay. So you can understand in this way that the double black node actually needed money. It had taken debt. So it asked its sibling for the money, which was initially cool. Initially it was black. So this uh, sibling, in turn, it asked its own child or the nephew of the double black note that your uncle is asking for money, please give some money. So the money was actually given, but this nephew basically did not behave well with, uh, with his parent when the parent asked for money. This made the parent angry. So the uh, color of the sibling of the double black note changed from black to red, right? And in turn, what happened because of his anger, this sibling of the double black node did not give money to the double black node and he turned away from the double black node. So in this case, we need to do a rotation of the uh, sibling of the double black node, not the parent, the sibling of the double black node in an opposite direction to the double black node. Why? Because he turned angry, he did not give away the money. So when he did not give away the money, another thing what will happen is that this double black node will not become a single black node. The debt will remain as it is, right? So let us draw this finally. So when we do the rotation of the sibling of the double black node, basically what happens is that we get this red black tree, right? So this is this was initially over here, this 30, so it came over here, right? And this 25 came up, right? So in the direction opposite to the double black node. And the double black node is as it is. So we were applying case 5 over here, right? So, so what we did, we swapped the colors of the double black node sibling and double black node's near nephew. So, and the next thing what we did was we rotated the double black node sibling in the opposite direction of the double black node because it, it became angry. It, the colors were swapped. And the next thing what we need to do is that we need to apply case 6. And what is case 6? Case 6 says that if the double black node sibling is black and far nephew is red. So does it apply over here? This is our double black node. The sibling is black, the sibling is 25 and the far nephew is red. Is the far nephew red? 30 is the far nephew in this case for the double black node 5. Uh, yes, it is red. So forget the before relations. Now the relations have actually changed. The, now the relations have actually changed due to the involvement of money. So now this five ne far nephew has become 30. So is it red? Yes, it is red. And is the sibling of the double black node black? Yes, it is black. So we can apply case six over here. In fact, every time when you apply case five, you will finally have to apply case six. So now let us apply case six over here. Okay, because the double black node sibling is black and the far nephew is red. So what does the case six say? It says, 
that swap the colors of the double black notes parent and double black notes sibling. So this is the double black notes parent, 10, and 25 is the double black notes sibling, right? So we swap their colors. So as the colors are same, so there will be no swap, but if suppose the color of 25 was red, so this would have become black and this would, this would have become red, right? So now there is no swap. So uh, this is the first step. So what happens in this case is, basically, now uh, this is the far nephew that we are talking about over here, right? So he is not very close to the double black node who needs money. So basically he is not asking the sibling for the money, he is basically directly asking the parent, the double black node is directly asking his parent that please contact my sibling so that I can get the money. So this uh, parent actually contacts the sibling, right, their colors get swapped, okay, and then we actually rotate, we rotate the double black node's parent because again the parent wants to get rotated in the direction of the child which is in trouble, who needs money, that is 5 in this case. So we rotate the, so here I have forgotten one 7, right, here I have forgotten a 7. Uh, so we rotate basically the double black node's parent in the direction of the double black node, right. So what happens finally, uh, how will this uh, tree change? So this tree, so this tree, a uh, red black tree will basically get changed in this way when the pa uh, parent of the double black node gets rotated in the direction of the double black node. And where will this 20 come? This 20 will actually come on the right side of 10, right, according to BST. So now, uh, this was, uh, this is what we need to do. Then the next step what we need to do is that, that red nephew, from whom the money had to be borrowed, uh, this red nephew, there was one red nephew over here, the far nephew of the double black node, this is the case where the far nephew is red. So in that nephew will actually turn black, he will turn cool, right? And this double black node will change to a single black node or we need to remove the double black node, right? So this will not lead to the deletion of the node. Why? Because in, inside the node, 5 was there and 5 didn't want to get deleted. Initially we started this because we want to delete 1 and finally the uh, double black node got propagated on a higher level that led to a double black node on 5. So finally when we remove that double black node, 5 will not get deleted. What we want to delete, that already got deleted, that was 1. So these were the 6 cases. So that's all from this video. In this video, we tried to cover all the possible cases that we can encounter if during deletion in red black trees with the help of examples. I tried to cover all the possible cases. Uh, do watch the next video where we will solve a big example of deletion in red black trees in which I'll cover all the possible cases in between. Solving such an example will give you a good practice. Until then, share this video as much as possible and let me know in the comments if you like the video.